Hello, this is Jimmy and you are watching the Elementary Info YouTube channel. If you are looking for a herpes cure, visit the website link in this video's description and in the first comment. Hey everyone, you're watching the Elementary Info, and today, we're diving into the topic of immune evasion mechanisms. It sounds complex, but don't worry, I'm here to break it down in simple terms. So, what are immune evasion mechanisms? Basically, these are tricks that viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens use to avoid getting destroyed by our immune system. The immune system is our body's defense against infections, and it's pretty good at its job. But some pathogens have developed ways to hide, escape, or even fight back against the immune system. Let's look at a few examples. Hiding from the immune system. Some viruses, like herpes, can hide inside our cells. They stay dormant, which means they're not actively causing symptoms, and the immune system can't easily detect them. This allows the virus to reactivate later and cause symptoms again. Changing appearance. Some pathogens can change their outer appearance, like a disguise. This confuses the immune system because it's looking for the original version of the pathogen. HIV is a good example of this. It constantly changes its surface proteins, making it harder for the immune system to recognize and attack it. Blocking immune responses. Some pathogens produce proteins that directly interfere with the immune system. They might block signals that would normally alert the immune system to an infection, or they might prevent immune cells from attacking them. This makes it easier for the pathogen to survive and spread in the body. Why does this matter? Understanding immune evasion mechanisms helps researchers develop better treatments and vaccines. By knowing how pathogens avoid the immune system, scientists can create strategies to counteract these tricks and help the immune system do its job more effectively. In summary, immune evasion mechanisms are the ways that pathogens outsmart the immune system to survive and cause infections. Learning about these mechanisms is key to improving how we fight off diseases. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more simple explanations on health and science topics. Got questions or something you want to learn more about? Drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video on the elementary info.